and shit. He lied on you. See? He wrote a letter about you that wasn't true. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guess who said that thou and the Jews think to rebel? For which cause thou buildest the wall, that thou mayest be king, according to these words. He didn't lie on them. They try to put position on him that they want. He wants a better position. No, all he wanted to do was the will of God. Yes. See? But they didn't lie on him. want to report to the king. Amen. <laughs> and thou hast also appointed prophets and preach of that thee of Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, and now shall it be reported to the king according to these words. Now therefore, and let us take counsel against him. Try to get it. We're going to tell the king, let's come on down here and meet us. Amen. They still want to put grief on you, you know? Yeah. They want to kill him now. Uh -huh. <laughs> he got to the place that he's getting his wall. Uh -huh. They want to catch him even before those walls got up. They want to catch him even before he made a decision to go what? Uh -huh. They want to catch him before he could even get to a place of joy uh -huh. and peace. They want to catch him before he could even get to a place of knowing it was God told him to do that work. Uh -huh. They want to stop the work of the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Watch what he said in verse 8. Then I said unto them, saying, There are no such things done as thou said, but you make it all up out of your own heart. You made up this lie. You made it up this lie. Hmm. Now, I know some of y'all who have been through what I've been through. Some of this stuff these people write about you is true. But if we got a blood covering God, if we got a God that says he forgives us for our past, present, and future sin, why are you still relying on those reports? But if there's a scripture in the Bible that says, whose report will you believe? The Lord's. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. You don't have to say that way. Amen. Verse 9. For they all made us afraid, saying, their hands shall be weakened. Now, they want to send that kind of fear to stop you from doing the work. Amen. They don't want to stop you from progressing in God. They want to stop you from having a vision. They want to stop you from having an ambition. I don't care if you've been to jail. I don't care if you've been homeless. I don't care if you've been to every bag on rehab that deals with alcohol and drug addiction. There's a point where you can get up and say, oh no, it ain't happening no more. You want to keep on moving forward, and those people want to stop you from progressing. Somebody. I'm going to keep on doing the work. I don't care if I get hit. I'm going to keep on doing the work. Tired as I am, I'm going to keep moving. Amen. Amen. Woo. Verse 9 again. For they all made us afraid, and their hands shall be weakened from the work, that it be not done. See? Now, therefore, O oh God, strengthen our hands. So when they try to stop you, say, oh God, strengthen me. I don't feel like getting up out the bed today. Oh God, strengthen me. Despair will hold you down. Despair and grief will keep you down worse than you working all day. Because people with depression don't want to get out of bed. People in despair don't want to move. They don't have no hope to get up. All they want to do is lay there and die. But you got to fight that thing. Amen. Verse 10. And afterward, I came unto the house of Shemir and the son of Delilah, whatever his name is, and who was shut up. And he said, let us meet together in the house of God within the temple and let us shut the doors of the temple for they will come to sleep. Yes, in the night when they come to sleep. Now see, here's the church trying to set him up now. Oh, what position, prestige, and power. Now they have paid off a church official to set up a Nehemiah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Boy, if I can get into that. <laughs> yeah. The people you work with to set you up. Look, man, I give you a raise to get him out of the way. Get her out. Look, they believe in trusting you because you're a man or woman of God. Tell them to come on to the temple. Uh-huh. Come on to the church. We want all have a meeting. You know how many meetings I sat in? And guess what I always was looked at in those meetings? The one full of grief and despair. You know why? Because I've never moved past their eyesight of being a crackhead. So no matter how much I was right, I was still wrong in their eyes. You know why? Because I was born a crackhead. Uh -huh. So your word don't go so far, but your work will go further. Amen. So don't worry about those beings. It's not going to work the Lord gave you. And watch this. Don't ever give nobody no vision.
Okay. That's why it took me so long to meet okay. the purpose of God. Because I let everybody know my vision. And so many people stole my vision, yeah. talked about my vision, yeah. said I would never have a vision. Yeah. But praise the Lord, I'm in my vision today. Amen. 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 Don't tell your left hand or your right hand with your hand. What's God. going on? Have go faith. fulfill the purpose of God. Amen. 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 Verse 11. And I said, should such a man as I flee, what you running from?
So the walls were what? Finished. In 20 and 5 days, of among you, and 50 and 2 days. Now watch what happens now. Watch the reverse of this. I love this. Verse 16. And it came to pass that when all our enemies, all the people wanted to bring us despair and grief, amen, heard thereof, and all the heathen, all those sinners, were about to saw these things, they were much cast down in their own eye. They, they got low. They got low. What happened? Now the script is the script. Now they get shit. The walls are up. Amen. For they perceived that this work was of God. Amen. Amen. They knew me and my had nothing to do with it. We were trying to stop the work of God in that person's life. That's why I said, don't be a vision nobody. Amen. There are people in the churches today that were trying to stop your work. Because they were looking at your past. There are people that are in this room and in this building that were trying to stop your work in your past. That's why I said, keep your mouth shut. Don't tell nobody. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, amen. Matter of fact, you got to have a vision like, uh, what does it got? Jacob. Jacob. Has, Jacob. Go to First Chronicles. First Chronicles. Remember, you should read it. First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4. Verse 10. First Chronicles 4.10. And it says, And Jabez, Jago, called on God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. You know, they just had that big old thing, Bless me indeed. Oh, Lord, even had the song of Jabez prayer. Yeah. Oh, bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil. But watch this. People will always try and bring you grief when you are doing the right thing. Amen. So don't think because you decide to do the right thing that ain't nothing going to happen to you. That's when the devil turns up the fire. But now you realize he don't know you no more. Amen. See, when you get born again, you're going to get more attacks. Amen. All right. Watch this. People will always try and bring you grief when you are doing the right thing. If you are born again and the Holy Spirit is living in you and you are sealed by the Spirit of God, those who try to bring you grief are grieving the Holy Ghost when they try to cause you grief. Why? Because he lives in you and you are sealed by him. Now what's that? Now you're saying to me, oh, look, what are you talking about? They're grieving the Holy Ghost when they're trying to bring you grief. What do I mean by that? Here's what I mean by that. And I was in prayer when I was writing this message, right? I was actually adding to it. But I was in prayer and the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, grieve not the Holy Ghost. I want y'all to go to um, Ephesians chapter 4. And I said, well, Lord, what do you mean by if they're grieving me, they're grieving the Holy Ghost? I thought that was something special. But then I began to think about it and I said, when you get born again, who immediately moves in? The Holy Ghost. He begins to live in you. He lived in the building in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, he lives in you. That's why you're called the church. Call down one. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So people are bringing you grief. They are grieving the Holy Ghost. All right, now. Oh, y'all ain't here. So every time somebody trying to bring you trouble, they're grieving the Holy Ghost. You can say, come on. Oh, let's keep going. Come on. Come on.
Ephesians 4, verse 13. What does it say? It says, and grieve not the Spirit, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are what? Sealed unto the day of what? Redemption. Hello. Hello. What does that word seal mean? It means you are stamped down. That's one of his children.
No. They ain't going to hell. Oh. And I guarantee they ain't going to be crying then if you go to hell. Because no. it ain't no more tears, no more pain, no more sorrow. They won't even know who you are anymore. Because God will refuse to remember you while you burn. They will be skipping on the streets of gold along with the other family members that made it in the city. Then nobody's going to say, you remember Ron? Amen. They will remember. No, Ron won't again. No, Ron won't again. I'm just using it. I'll leave Ron alone. Amen. 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 So he breathed on them and they received salvation. Let's go to Isaiah 53 and see where it all came out. Isaiah 53. We got a little bit more time here. Did y'all understand that in Nehemiah's story? Did Nehemiah give you an example of how to fight against the saved, the unsaved, and the religious folk who keep coming at you? And look out for those who are just filled with position, prestige, and power. And that's the only thing they serve. They ain't serving the living God. They serving their flesh. And they want to beat you down because you want to do the will of God. So believe me, I know. And I mean, you want to drive you want to kill yourself sometimes. Especially if you're a baby in the church and they begin to bring you that hurt. You be like, dang, going to the world treat me this way. I never thought the church would treat me this way. That is so depressing. You can't even come to the door. You can't even do this. You can't do that. Don't they know y'all babies in Christ? Don't treat a baby like that. You correct the baby. You instruct the baby. But you don't discredit the baby. I've been at the spread of my baby. Oh, amen. Shut up. <laughs> Isaiah 53. Look at verse 4. Now, Isaiah 53 is the prophecy of the, of the coming of Christ, but look at verse 4. And surely he has what? Bored our griefs. See what Jesus did for you? He bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. So he, he, he went through all that for you. Why are you worried about somebody trying to bring you grief for the fish? Right. Didn't they say Jesus was born for us? And he did. On that yeah. cross. Amen. Isaiah 51. Verse 11. 51 verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come we're sitting in the Zion. The Zion is a type of church. And everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall what? Flee away. That tells me, start laughing. But people start to snack at them. I get some joy. Joy and laughter brings healing. If you're laughing and got joy, that's a sign you ain't free. seeking God, then you still want to believe him? Give me a break. Amen. Oh, no. How do you want to drag somebody out of here to sin with you? That's bringing grief yes. and sorrow. Yes. And if y'all know what I'm talking about, I ain't saying on that. Don't talk about sin. Because anytime you live in sin, hello, in fornication, you're going to hell. Going to church. Hello. That's the great sin. But I thank God. Thank you. Amen. I think so.